So we make sure that we make sure that the people know that because that did happen, it wasn't a victory, it was actually uh, history. You know, the first time in the state of California that an officer was ever charged, again, sentenced, arrested, and then sentenced. So we need to be clear that um, what happened was just history. But from that point, it was our hope that we as a family can come and work with other families to actually get a victory in our lifetime. And it is still our hope and belief that we can. Um, just recently, one of the things that we did in the Bay Area in support of uh, Danica Chapman, who lost her son, uh, Kenneth Hardy, to the Muni Transit, Trans, 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 oh, San Francisco Police, I should just say. Yeah. Uh, and as you know, as Dion was saying, and we need to remember this, mass media at first is not our friend. Yeah. Yeah. And, and until we come clear to understand that, what they tell us normally is not true. They give a reflection to what they consider the majority that believe that all police officers are good officers and they will not perform a heinous act or do anything wrong. That is not true. The Malcolm X Grassroots Report or Institute Report just came out with a report on police shootings when it comes to black men or black females or black children. From January 1st to June 31st, 100 Right now, the number is 116 has been killed by the police. Again, we're talking about either a young black man, uh, black female, or child. This does not include our brown brothers and sisters. So until we get into that report, we're going to see a significant change in the numbers. But what's important here to remember is that every 36 hours, we know, no, 36 hours, we know that a black man, woman, or child will be shot and killed by the police. So we have to take note that this is such an egregious crime that's happening across the United States that we cannot sit idle no longer and not get involved. Part of us getting involved is not just doing the protests, not just coming and standing at the vigils. I mean, those, those, are, those are important, but it can't just stop there. One of the things we just did, again, when I was talking about uh, Danica Chapman, her son being Kenneth Harding, was that we actually shut down Muni. One of the things that we did with Oscar Grant that had a tremendous effect, and I want to talk a little bit about Oscar Grant and the lessons learned from that, was that we had a port shut down, and we cost the state of California millions and billions of dollars. So these type of direct actions are real important, especially looking at the city of Stockton claiming that it's broke. Okay. And I just recently heard